What's up guys, Shane here for Tech 3D Printing and today we're checking out the December MakerBox. Welcome back guys, I said today is my favorite time of the month, it is when the Maker Box shows up. This is my December Maker Box, you can see it is pretty gnarled, mail takes a while to get to me, so this video is coming out a little bit late, also I'm a little delayed in filming it, but either way, let's dive in. Alright, so we've got some Harbio little gummy bears, my kids do appreciate that, so thank you guys at Maker Box. And as always, they have their little discount form here. It is all on their new website, extrudingknowledge.com. And you type in the code, and that way you can see all the discounts for all the different filament that came in. How you can earn a free maker box. So they do an affiliate program, which we'll talk about that later. Uh, joining the community and all kinds of different things. What should you print? So it's a good little card to check out. And then we have the four types of filament. All right, so up first we have Poly Smooth Transparent by Polymaker. And it is transparent, it has a little bit of a yellow tinge to it, I will say that. It's not quite, maybe that's just how clear it shows up for this. Uh, okay, anyways, hot end temperature 210 to 230, print temperature, room temperature to 65C, so the bed temp. And the speed is 49 millimeters per second. So the info, a material that prints similar to PLA, but can be smoothed using isopropyl alcohol Best smoothing with Polymaker Polisher. Oh yes, so Poly Smooth, that's what this is. So Polymaker has this Poly Smooth vapor chamber that you actually take isopropyl alcohol, put in the bottom, and it makes this vapor. And I think they actually just released version 2.0, which is supposed to make a more a thicker, more dense uh, fog, we'll call it, around the part in order to get you better results. So this would be cool. I don't have a polisher. I did reach out to them. They said maybe one day they'll send me one. But either way, I can at least get this printed and see how it works. All right, here we have Elixir Night Sky by Poly Alchemy in this kind of like midnight blue with a, it actually has, it sounds like silk filament. Uh, you can, just the way that it screeches against each other when you, when you press two together like that. Uh, and it's very shiny. So the hot end temperature is 200 to 220, bed temperature, room temperature to 55, speed 30 to 90, info, a custom PLA blend that produces satin-like surface finishes. Adjust temperature to get the best surface finish. So you could probably do a temperature tower with this and see which one you like the best. But yes, this is basically a silk filament. I've done a few other silk filament reviews and I actually have some more that came in from other companies. But this should look pretty nice. I do like this color quite a bit. All right, so some PLA Extra Fill from Filamentum. And this is in a gold, and it looks pretty shiny. It doesn't look like it has flakes in it, but it has a very nice sheen to it. All right, the hot end temperature is 190 to 10, bed temperature, room to 60. The speed is 30 to 90, and info, gold happens, part of Filamentum's popular metallic colored PLA series. So there is no metal in this, it is just metallic metal colored, and it's supposed to look like gold. And it does have a pretty nice texture looking to it, just the way the color is. Yeah, so this should make a very cool looking maker coin, I think. I am excited to try this one out. All right, and some flex filament. We have some Armadillo from Ninja Tech. The print settings 210 to 230, bed temperatures room to 65, speed 30 to 60 millimeters second. Wow, that is lots, that's really high. And a performance material similar to mechanical properties of nylon, but prints like PLA. It is really flexible though. I wonder if it's, I guess it's not a flexible filament. It feels like one, like, cause flexible filament has a weird texture to it. Like it's not as smooth. I guess it is, I don't know. If you've touched flexible filament, different types of it, and if you touch regular PLA, different types of it, you can feel the difference. And this feels like something that's more rigid than cheetah, but still has that flex feel to it. I mean, I can bend it pretty good without it breaking. But it's supposed to be like a nylon slash PLA type of material. Either way, again, this should look pretty awesome. It's kind of a semi-transparent, deep dark blue in there. Okay, so I have not found a new spool to do for this month, so I will peruse the Thingiverse and see if anything has popped up in recent time. I do keep a, a thing list, a collection of all the different spools that I've printed or ones that I want to try out. So if there's any here that I want to try out this month or if there's any new ones that have come up, 
And if you guys have a spool that you would like me to test out, please leave me in the comments or send me a direct message here, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, either way, and I will be more than happy to try it out in one of my MakerBox videos. So on with the time lapses and we'll be right back to see the results. Okay, so I finished all the coins and I didn't find a new spool that I liked that I wanted to try. So I ended up using some of the old ones that I've used in the past that worked out really, really well for me. So I'll put links down to those in the video description if you guys want to check out some pretty awesome different spool holders that I found, or I guess different spools for the loose filament that I found over the past, I guess, year I've been using a lot of these ones. So let's see the results of these filament. They came out great, just to forewarn you, but hey, let's look at the details. All right, and here we go. This is the Armadillo from Ninja Tech and the blue looks kind of crazy on the camera. I don't know why it's maybe color correction like that. We'll see how it is afterwards. But anyways, it's a nice deep blue. It came out absolutely great. Uh, for some reason, here on the bottom, on the Forger Tech build tack, it kind of looked like it adhered, but it didn't. And like the second layer didn't adhere very well to the first layer. That was the only layer issue I had. A little bit of stringing on the first layer as well for some odd reason. But yeah, I mean, I th maybe it was just a little bit too close on the Folger Tech build surface and I can actually peel off. Yeah, see that's the exterior of the first layer, those uh, exterior perimeters. But anyway, aside from that, it did really well over the support. First layer, like I said, it seemingly went down well. Walls, super duper smooth. All the details are there, very nice and crisp. This is printed on the GTEC Persa i3 aluminum with all my recent upgrades to it. And yeah, it just came out absolutely beautiful. So this is a really nice filament. All right, and here hey, we have my absolute favorite. This is the PLA Extra Fill called Gold Happens from Filamentum. This is super duper quality filament. I mean, it just came out beautifully. I literally cannot express this enough, how much I like this filament. The walls turned out really good. Again, this is the top, that finish just looks, oh man, so good. On the bottom, it did pretty well over the supports. As you can see here, normal PLA issues with that. There was no real buckling anywhere around it, which does happen in some PLA prints when it goes over on this, this uh, arch, these overhangs that's to deal with. Sometimes it does that. This one did not. Um, Actually, this one has a little bit of buckling right there. As you can see, the kind of divot. But hey, other than that, it also turned out great. And this is probably by far one of my favorite filaments I've printed with so far. It just has the absolute greatest results. This was printed on the CR10. And again, just came out great. All right, here is the PolySmooth Transparent by Polymaker. Now, you're supposed to be able to smooth this with the Polymaker polisher using isopropyl alcohol. I didn't look up any DIY ways, and I obviously don't have one yet. I'm hoping to get one from them one day, but I'll keep this around and maybe if I do get one one day, I will be able to do it. But anyways, it's a clear filament, so obviously you're gonna be able to see a lot through the top and a lot through the bottom. Uh, the sidewalls, nice and pearly looking, which is how they really should be. Uh, top all filled in, super duper smooth up here, so there's no under extrusion or any roughness going on there. And underneath, it's a little hard to see, but if I put my hand behind it, you can kind of see the layers here. It looks exactly, it looks exactly how the other ones performed, but again, this one just came out, again, great. There's no, no buckling on this one at all, at least that I could feel. I really can't see it anywhere, but this one actually probably performed better than the filamentum, simply because there is less buckling on the bottom, and it's also really hard to tell the details, but I try. Again, came out great. And finally, we have Elixir Night Sky by Poly Alchemy, and this was my wife's favorite. She usually looks at what I'm working on, and this is a silk type of filament, so it comes out really nice and shiny. This was printed at 220 degrees, which is the top end of their suggested uh, range. I wanted to see how shiny I could really get this, and the hotter you print, normally the shinier it will look because it's, uh, just, uh, I don't know the science behind it, but yes, it turns out more shiny if you print it at a hotter temperature. So everything filled in really great on the top, no issues anywhere there, no stringing anywhere. On the bottom, bottom layer came out good. This one right here, for some reason, came off when I, like the very first layer for this part only, came off. I think, again, I was too close. This actually was the second one I did on the GTEC i3 
because uh, I printed the Armadillo, the Polysmooth, and this Elixir on the G-Tech. And I think, yeah, I just, a little too close, and the second layer didn't adhere very well to it. But, I mean, hey, look over the supports. It did a fantastic job over those, and zero buckling around the outside. So again, super duper quality filament, and I just could not be happier with all four of these filaments that came this month. There you have it, guys. That's the December Maker Box. Super big thumbs up to Maker Box for a great year of filament. I thoroughly enjoyed the entire year. There was like maybe like three or four filaments that I really didn't like out of four times 12, the 48 that I got this year. So thank you, MakerBox, for everything you guys do. This is a awesome program. I highly recommend you guys check out MakerBox. If you wanna get your own, there'll be a link down in the video description, and there'll be a coupon code. You can get 15% off your first month. If you sign up with them, you only get 10% off your first month, and it's normal price after that. And for every three people that use my link or my coupon, I will get a free maker box. So that does help out the channel quite a bit as that is a basically $20 expense I don't have to have every month. Now I would still get this regardless. Again, it's just a nice thing. I love printing with new filament. I love learning. I learned so much more by trying out new filaments and trying out new techniques for bed adhesion and fans, all kinds of craziness. So again, I highly recommend it and uh, links down in the description. So get to printing guys. So if you guys like this video, if you found it helpful, if you have maker box and you were curious about any of this and you wanna know more about these filaments, I hope this this helped you out or you can contact me but hey if you liked it big thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down either way talk to me in the comments down below I'd love to hear from you guys if you want to see more great videos like this make sure you're a subscriber hit the bell icon that way you get a notification anytime I upload new content and yeah you get an email that's awesome come to the email club so you guys want to support me financially down below be a patreon link go ahead and click that donate me a dollar more I greatly appreciate it. our patreons you're awesome as always the funds from there go to actually buy things for the channel for filament reviews or if I need tools hoping to hire someone eventually to be doing my video editing and that'll be a great thing to do one day if you guys will support me without directly donating to the channel there's a bunch of affiliate links down there do your daily shopping with those and update your bookmarks. Amazon is the big one down there. Uh, again, if there's a fill link down there for the maker box, but it's only if many people sign up, I get it for free. Anyways, however you choose to support me, even if it is just watching this video all the way to the end, I thank you much for your support. So until next time, happy printing.